Hey everybody, welcome to MuseThemes.com. This is Ashton. Today we're taking a look at our new CookieBot widget. Now in short, what this widget does is provide a field on your site for new visitors for them to consent to the storage and use of cookies while they browse. You can see here on our demo, we get a little informational blurb along with some various checkboxes and an OK button. And we even get this detailed dropdown that the user can examine if they choose. Now, this widget is coming at an interesting time. As many of you know, the EU's GDPR data regulations went into effect on Friday, May 25th. That stands for General Data Protection Regulation, and it's basically a regulation in EU law on data protection and privacy for all individuals within the European Union. Going forward, sites are required to comply with these new laws, and our new widget here integrates with a service from cookiebot.com that makes updating your site to meet compliance very easy. Now keep in mind, the scope of this is larger than just sites based in Europe. This also applies to any site that has visitors based in the EU. They'll need to offer the same control for cookies and online tracking, so even if you're in the United States, this could still affect you if you have visitors overseas. Now before we get into Muse and explore the widget, I think it's important that we look at the features of CookieBot and explore the pricing levels first. And yes, there is a free version, so don't worry. However, it is a good idea to look at the details of the free plan along with the paid plans to see what level of service you'll need for your site and how many sites you may need this done for. Some people might have to be on paid plans. Now in full disclosure, the paid plans here are not cheap, but unfortunately this is a third party service and we cannot influence the pricing of this service whatsoever. Now some of you may be wondering, why do we need a third-party service? Can't Muse Themes just build their own widget from scratch? Well, these new GDPR laws are very complex and extremely challenging to comply with. The scope of what's needed is far beyond what could be done in a script built for a widget from Muse. So essentially, it wouldn't really be possible for us to build a widget that does this due to the dynamic server needs, which isn't possible in the static environment that Muse lives in. The reason that this works here at all is because we're using an embeddable integration with CookieBot's service, which operates entirely outside of Muse, and our widget just provides the proper integration of their service. So right now we're looking at the cookiebot.com website. And right off the bat, they have a helpful website checker that you can use if you're unfamiliar with cookies and these new regulations. But for now, let's go up to pricing. Now, I can understand many of you may not be happy with the price of the paid levels of services. There are a few other options for third-party services that offer GDPR compliance. However, we didn't feel comfortable with the details of these services after breaking them down. Things like an inability to comply on a secure site and lack of archival reports made us not feel comfortable with the other options. If a breach were to take place, some services might not have what's needed to protect yourself, and we just felt that CookieBot was the clear choice for needed robustness. But ultimately, it is up to you to know what level of service that you're going to need. Now, other GDPR compliant services may appear over time, and we're of course happy to offer other integration widgets. So definitely don't hesitate to drop us a note if you come across something you think we should know about. And I'll just note one more thing so that we can move forward. I'd highly suggest doing some additional reading on this very complex topic, as there are many angles to it, regarding what sites should be adding compliance, how enforcement of non-compliant sites will play out, and many more. There's just way too much for me to cover here in this video, so for now, let's just go over how this widget works. We have our pricing here, as you can see, but for now, let's just go up here where it says try for free. And then it's gonna ask us to create an account. So we'll enter an email address, make a password, we'll accept the TNCs and click next. Now to activate your subscription, you'll need to check your email. CookieBot will automatically send you a welcome email with a registration key inside. So let me jump over to my email. And we're just gonna select this key and copy it. Then we'll head back to the CookieBot website, paste our key, and click Submit. Perfect. Registration complete. Now we're going to click over to settings. So now that our account is active, the main thing left to do is to enter the domain name of the site that you're going to use the service on. Now what I've done over here in my browser is I've uploaded a copy of our build theme onto an old business catalyst domain just for the sake of demonstration, but you'll want to enter the domain for whatever your website is. So I'm just going to select my domain and copy it. 
Now keep in mind we only need the parent domain. You don't need the HTTPS or the www or the sub pages. So I'm just going to copy it right from where the actual domain starts all the way through .com. Back to CookieBot. And we have a green plus sign here next to domain name. So we'll go ahead and click that. And here we get a field to paste our domain. So I will do that now. And then we'll click save here on the left panel. And that's it. We'll come back to CookieBot shortly to cover a few customization options. But for now, we're ready to integrate it into Muse. So let's jump over. Now, as I mentioned, I already have our build theme open, and it's already sitting on my domain. So I'll just need to incorporate the widget and do a quick re-upload of the site. Now, in most cases, your master page is where you're going to want this widget to go. So let's click into my master page now. And we'll jump into the library and drag the widget out onto the canvas. Perfect. Now we can keep the widget off to the side. Positioning of this widget doesn't mean anything, so we can just keep it off the page boundaries to keep it out of the way and to keep it easily accessible. Now let's open the settings panel. Definitely one of the simplest settings panels you could ask for, just one and only field to enter domain group ID. Now this is your activation key that you got in your welcome email from CookieBot that we grabbed earlier. So I'm gonna jump back to my email, copy the code, Jump right back to Muse, and we'll paste it in the panel just like that. Perfect. So now let's publish our site. And I'm just going to do a quick re-upload to my same Business Catalyst domain. And keep in mind that a publish is needed to see this widget in action, not a preview, because the domain has to be live to see the cookie notification bar. And there we go. We get our cookie notification bar displaying right on the top, just like that. Now I'm not going to click OK, because that would prevent my browser from seeing it again. So I'm just going to leave it alone for the time being. Let's jump back to the CookieBot portal, and we'll change a setting for the way that the bar appears. Here from this same settings panel, let's click over to the dialog tab. Now here we can customize how and where the bar comes into view. Right now we have a default setting of slide down, which we just saw in action. So let's change it to slide up. And remember to click save. And we'll go back to our site. And we'll just refresh the page. And there we go, no additional site upload needed. Since the widget is already integrated on the page, it'll automatically pull the settings from the CookieBot portal, and any changes you make and save are reflected in real time. So now at this point, I can go ahead and accept the cookies, just like that, and continue to browse the site as desired. So that's our CookieBot widget. Thanks so much for watching and trying it out. As I mentioned, I'd encourage you to do some research on the new laws if this is new to you, or if you're unsure if this applies to you. And of course, don't hesitate to let us know if you run into any technical issues with the widget. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.